Okay guys, it's time to talk about camera angles. I promised you this video a while back. It's been a while since I sat down to edit. Um, so let's talk about avatars. So we know the only avatar that animates is uh, female version 1, female V1. Remember you can save your avatar size or you can click and drag like I just did uh, directly onto the avatar to change her size. I've saved my garment from a previous project and I'm going to load it. I know that it fits her perfectly because that's what I use to create the garment. And if I want to hide her skin, I have to click on uh, Naked uh, Naked Emma. <laughs> oh, I guess, I don't know if it says nude. It probably says nude and I'm just saying naked. But anyway, she's naked under her clothes like we all are. Um, so now I'm just adjusting the look of it, teasing it a little bit, and then we're going to talk about this animation and camera angles. Guys, I have not mastered it, but I can get you to a point, same point that I'm at. Oh, remember I talked to you about skin offset? It makes the garments uh, go closer to the body so they don't seem to be floating on. When you highlight the body, uh, there's a object window that comes up, a property editor for skin offset. I set it to 1. So now I'm going to add the stage. If you saw this in a previous video, I will make sure to link it. And uh, you can watch that video. So now I have the stage, but I also have this grid. So in the uh, display menu, you can delete the grid. I want to actually change the Clo um, logo to my own logo. So I'm just going to double check the size and go to Photoshop. Create the logo, resize the logo so that it fits the whole uh, screen and centered in the middle. And um, not that I want to continue to do a Photoshop tutorial, but I set it in the middle of the huge high resolution 5,099, 5,999, and uh, center it, save it as a PNG, and then you could use that as your logo in the background. So make sure it's transparent PNG, and then you can save it to your folder for your stage. These are the animations that go with the stage. I save it to um, the current user folder. Uh, the current user folder and it updates in the background. So now the company logo is in the back. But now let's talk about these camera angles. So in the display, you know you can usually zoom in and zoom out when you're in the animation mode. And it's kind of hard zoom, hard, hard zoom in and out with the um, mouse. That's what we usually use. So I'm just going to add the animation and we're going to see how we can get different views. Uh, once she's animated, I will uh, discuss the different views in the camera properties or camera preferences. So you have to go to your preference menu. So once she's rendered, we will visit the different camera angles. And I'll show you where that's located and how to manipulate it. And then that will be it. So guys, just remember, always keep it on simulation quality complete. Hit the red button for the garment to transition with the avatar at the same time. And this is actually a frame by frame process. So it does take a little bit long. So we're just gonna speed up a little bit and uh, we will get right back to it.
Okay, and we're animated. So let's just take a look at the current camera angle we have in real time. Um, real time time. We'll keep going and then we'll talk about the angle. So like I said, if you go to your uh, preferences, here I am looking for it. So I before I go to animation and, and uh, video, uh, take a video capture of the animation, what I'm going to do is check for my cameras. Uh, it's not in display. It should be in display, but it's not in display. It's actually in preferences. But what you'll find in display is 3D garment options to take on and off. Sometimes when you're doing uh, video capture, you'll get uh, like all of your seams and all of your uh, seam taping and style lines. You can actually take that on and off. So let's go into preferences and camera properties. So right now we're looking at different camera properties. I am just zooming in and out with the mouse. You can see that I'll go right into the wall or I'll zoom in too uh, quickly. So on the right hand side, there are buttons called field of view, distance, horizontal angle, and vertical angle. So you have your pan left, pan right, pan up, pan down. You have your field division, serves as your zoom in and zoom out. The field of field of view is something like a fisheye camera. So when you use your field of view, before I talk about saving, you actually can save a camera file, but I'll talk about the little glitch. But when you increase your field of view, this is where you can like kind of move around the room a little bit better and not hit the wall so much. Um, so you have to kind of zoom out. If you look and see how far out I'm zoomed to something like 89 or 90, but you can zoom in and out. And if the property um, menu goes away, you can actually just go back to camera properties and it will stay just as you left it. So this looks like 58. I'm zoomed out to 58, uh, now 50. The more I zoom in and out, I'm trying to uh, view camera angles that I saved. So what I've noticed is that you can save a camera angle, but if you are locked into a different view and not the default camera view, it will not change. So I think that's something that they need to work on. But for our purposes today, we're just going to do a couple of um, renders or video captures of a particular angle that we want. And then we are going to um, render that out and actually uh, link them together in a little video file and overlap them so it looks like you have more than one uh, more than one angle of a camera working on the, the runway. Okay, so let's take this as one camera way and then we'll do a video capture and then we'll get another one. So I could put myself into the wall you know, sometimes you can write down exactly um, what you want, but you have to be in the center in order to type in the actual dimensions of the camera or properties of the camera view. So I always keep it in spir uh, spherical, spherical view. Um, and I keep it as close to default as possible. So the closer you are to default, when you're actually activating a camera view, it can pop there for you. But if you're locked into a different view, it's not going to move as much. It doesn't actually pick up the whole, uh, all the properties of the file. So you can zoom in and zoom out and find the angle that you like. You can pan up, pan down. You can do all different things. I suggest you write down the camera view so that you can get right back there if you want to do it for more than one look at a time. So write it down. Keep the camera zoomed into one point so that you can mimic what you have already done 
which would be the purpose of saving the camera view. But for some reason, I have not mastered how to bring in the exact camera view. I'm sure there's a trick to it. So guys, I'm going to start doing some video renders. And then I am going to uh, get right back to you. Okay, bye-bye. All right, all done. Rendered out in uh, video captured. So the next question is, will this render in my animation rendering uh, window? Short answer is, of course it will. But do you have the time that it takes to render 500 some odd, almost 600 frame by frame by frame. Then change the view and render frame by frame by frame. I don't know about you, but I am working with, uh, what is that? A GTX 1080 Ti. <laughs> and I do not have the patience to render. And my rendering is not as slow as some machines. So we are going to position our um, camera view and we are going to start to render and then I'm going to show you the final result. That's why it's a little bit easier for me to do uh, video capture animation and then uh, you know just make sure that it looks you know as clean as possible by um, taking off all of the properties in the 3D garment uh, menu. So I'm going to start rendering and now I'm going to show you the finished result. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is how I would cut it up a little bit. I would l do each layer on top, cut to one layer, and then cut back to the other layer. So at least there are two different views. This is uh, footage from video capture. Okay, so we all know now that 
rendering video looks amazing. So you can also render and also edit afterwards and uh, you can repeat the same thing over and over again and uh, look like a runway show. Okay guys, bye bye.